If you're planning to take the civil PE exam, you know it takes a lot of study hours and a lot of discipline to properly prepare for this monster exam. In this video, I'll show you why I think the School of PE online course is a great option for you to knock this exam out. Let's go. First of all, full disclosure, when I took the civil PE exam last year, I did not take the School of PE course. Instead, I studied 164 hours, and you can check out my full study prep in this other video here. However, looking back and after reviewing the School of PE course, their workshop problems, their quizzes, and their online lectures, I wish I had taken this course. I'm planning to take the SE or PE structural exam, and for that, I'm definitely going to take the School of PE review course and hopefully make another video here about my opinion on it. Once you enter the School of PE website, you can go to review courses and then choose PE and then PE civil. Once you're here, you note that they offer three different courses, on-demand, live, and on-site. I believe the most popular one is on-demand, and that's when you just watch the recorded lectures. If your schedule works well, you can do the live online lectures and then ask questions directly to the instructors, or you can actually go to their location and, and take classes in person. In our case, let's do here, for example, PE Civil Structural, which is the one I have, and click on Learn More. Here you can find all that they offer for this online course, and note that with your registration, you're going to get for free or included in your registration the PE Civil Exam Review Guide for Structural Depth and also the Exam Review Guide for the Morning Portion, the Breadth. Now, assuming you read all of this and you purchased the course, you go to Login, and then you type your credentials that you'd sign up, and this will take you to the online courses that you received. In our case here, for example, if you purchase the PE Civil Structural, you're going to receive the breadth manual and also the structural depth review manual. But here in the course is where you're probably going to spend most of your time. Once you enter the course, it's very well divided. It gives you many different lectures and also PDFs that you can download. For example, if you open Engineering Economics, you can find all the lectures and let's say this one is 60 minutes long. And this is actually the lecture that was recorded for a live class, it's really good because you actually see the questions the students asked. On top of that, if you click on the PDF here, these are the refresher notes or PDFs that are literally used for the online lecture. And one thing that is really good about School of PE and their updated material is that they revamped their material for the CBT exam. You're actually going to see references to the NCES reference handbook, which is really helpful now that the exam is computer-based. You may feel overwhelmed by just how many lectures there are here. In total, School of PE has 96 hours of lectures within their review course. If that sounds like a lot to you, I'd recommend you focus on the areas that you feel less comfortable about and really try to watch those lectures because the instructors will give you some nuggets or some extra explanation that, that you can't just get from looking at the slides. The second thing I like about the School of PE review course is that they give you a lot of problems and they call them workshop problems. They have these for every section for both the breadth and the depth portions of the exam. I literally counted how many workshop problems they have for each section and I think this is a pretty good number of problems. Even if you don't watch all the lectures, but you commit yourself to solving all of their problems, or even 80% of their problems, I think you have a very high chance of passing. As you can see in this table I put together, for the morning portion, they have 423 workshop problems, and that's not even including their example problems or quizzes. And for the structural depth, you're gonna have 231. And that's also accounting for for the two practice exams they have for the morning and three for the afternoon portion. And speaking of practice exams, they have a practice portal pro, and that is when you can actually build your own exams, focusing on the areas you want to study more. 
let me show you what that is. So here you can click on build your own exam. You can select whether you want to skip questions that you already attempted or questions that have been answered right before. This way you don't get a ton of repeated questions and select the subjects you are wanting to study more. For example, if you really want to focus more on analysis of structures, you can check this. You can check, for example, codes and constructions. And if you just want to take practice problems on those topics and take random questions, if you want to take really hard questions, medium or easy ones, you can personalize your practice exam based on that. You can enable a timer and even give a title to your exam. Even if you don't want to go through all of this of building your own exam, you can just go straight to their standard exams down below here. The last thing I wanted to show here is the study plan. You can literally create a calendar which shows you how many hours you need to study each day, block out dates if you have a trip or anything going on that you know you won't be able to study, and this will just help you keep you on track and on schedule. And I also must add that to build this study plan, you're going to be selecting the areas that you need to study more, the areas that you feel confident on, and School of PE or the study plan is going to tell you how many hours they think you need to study and you need to allocate to get there. And if whatever availability you filled out does not meet the number of hours that are required, then it will ask you to rearrange your schedule or reevaluate your study plan. And this is great because sometimes we get into this mind trap that we don't need to study as much for a different subject or that we have a lot of time to study. And a lot of times we don't actually do the math to see how much time we have before our exam day. So this is another great tool that School of PE offers. School of PE has great pass rates if you compare to the national average. If you do purchase the course, there is a very high chance you pass the exam whether you're taking it the first time or you're a repeat test taker. The other benefit of taking this course is that if you don't pass, School of PE is going to let you retake the course for free the second time you take the exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do decide to purchase the School of PE review course, and if you also want to support this channel in a small way, I have affiliate links in the description below that you can use for the purchase. And if you want to know my take on the NCES reference handbook, check out my video here where I reviewed this handbook or the other video up above that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And I'll see you next time.